Happy Chinese New Year! 祝大家春节快乐，兔年吉祥。I hope you're all spending some quality time with your family. I unfortunately could not make it home for Chinese New Year this year. I remember spending time with my family last year. It was a lot of fun. I got to have the traditional homemade Chinese New Year dinners, and I got some red envelopes. Now, why do I still get red envelopes at this age? Well, because I'm not married. We all know there's this one Chinese New Year tradition where the elders collectively try to push the young singles to get married, aka 催婚 Ever wonder why I didn't go home this year? Just kidding. My parents are pretty chill. Not some of the relatives and friends, though. Anywho, even though I can't be home for Chinese New Year, there are still things I could do, like video calling my parents, sending them digital red envelopes. Yes, we basically just exchange red envelopes on WeChat, and sending them a custom-made digital greeting card. I actually made this greeting card on Caring's WeChat official account. There's an interactive game where you can customize the elements on this beautiful Chinese ink painting. If you want to send a nice digital greeting card to your family and friends on Chinese New Year, go check it out. The painting on this card is created by female contemporary Chinese ink artist Peng Wei. It's called That Year. It symbolizes harmony and biodiversity. According to Peng Wei, that year could mean any year. It's the year that's most special to you. It could be this year, 2023. However, if you think this is just a traditional Chinese ink painting, uh, -uh. look closer. Look at the couple in this painting. No, it's not trying to tell you you should couple up. If you're familiar with traditional Chinese ink paintings, you might have noticed that gender equality was rarely portrayed in these paintings. By putting a man and a woman side by side in a traditional ink painting, Peng Wei is actually using tradition to rebuild against tradition. Isn't that smart? Caring has collaborated with a few Chinese artists in the past to celebrate Chinese New Year. In 2019, they featured Xu Bing's square work calligraphy. In 2020, they featured female paper cut artist Jackie Wen's work. In 2021, they made an OOTD interactive game with their Chinese team. In 2022, they featured female contemporary calligrapher Xu Jing's work. And in 2023, Caring featured Peng Wei. You might know Caring as the luxury conglomerate that owns luxury brands like Gucci, Saint Laurent, and Bottega Veneta. But Caring has also deeply invested in the Chinese market and has been heavily involved with the culture since 2019. For example, Caring set up the Caring Generation Award to support China's innovative enterprises to achieve fashion sustainability, which I actually made a whole video about. If you didn't watch it, and like I just mentioned, Caring has also been collaborating with local Chinese artists on their Chinese New Year campaigns in an effort to support these artists and explore local narratives, as opposed to imposing a Eurocentric view on a culture. In a sense, caring is also invoking tradition to break from tradition. And by collaborating with female artists like Peng Wei, caring is shining a light on women's contribution to the arts, which is something that caring has committed to achieve through its signature program, Women in Motion. Going back to Peng Wei's that year, the painting is trying to convey gender equality, which never appears in traditional Chinese paintings because there was no concept of gender equality back then. Women were usually portrayed as domestic figures like. Mothers, daughters, and wives, or they would be portrayed as objects of beauty and desire. And unsurprisingly, the painters were usually men. Fast forward to modern society, gender equality has definitely come a long way, but there is still a lot more work to be done. Going back to our favorite Chinese New Year tradition, 催婚 Although both genders face pressure, women are still expected to fulfill traditional roles in the household. I'm not saying that fulfilling traditional household roles is a bad thing. Some women would actually love to do that. I'm just saying, for those of us who want to pursue our careers and our passions, having the societal expectation to fulfill our roles by a certain age could hinder our abilities to fully achieve what we want to achieve. The more we shine lights on women who have achieved great things despite any traditional social norms, the more we're able to inspire the current and future generations of women to unleash their greatest potentials. Thereby narrowing the gap between gender inequality. Aside from interrogating the issue of gender, Peng Wei's that year is also trying to depict biodiversity. If you take a deeper look into the animals drawn in the painting, they actually represent some of the endangered species. The butterfly represents the monarch butterfly. There used to be an abundant amount of them in North America, but by 2022, they are endangered. The carp symbolizes fish. One of the world's largest fish, the Chinese paddlefish, has gone extinct. 
The magpie symbolizes birds, in this specific case, the crested ibis. At one point, there were only seven of them left. After more than 20 years of continued efforts to protect them, there are now over 7,000 of them. The cica is a representation of the cica deer. It's considered a first-class protected animal. And since we're in the year of the rabbit, we gotta know that rabbits are not as abundant as we thought. Rabbit species like the Yakun hare and the Hainan hare are considered second-class protected animals. What Peng Wei depicts in her painting shows her perspective for a harmonious ecological future, which is in line with Kering's vision. Kering has placed biodiversity at the heart of his strategy for over 15 years. Its goal is to pursue its business activities while taking care of the environment and protecting its biodiversity. Kering has launched several concrete initiatives to support biodiversity and sustainability. For example, the Caring for Nature Fund, which aims to support fashion industry's transition to regenerative agriculture, and the Caring Generation Award, which I mentioned earlier in this video. As we enter the year 2023, Caring wishes to share its vision of a symbiotic harmony between human and nature in a prosperous year ahead with the Chinese audience through this collaboration with Chinese ink artist Peng Wei. If you want to make your own digital greeting card with this beautiful Chinese ink painting on it, just follow Kering's WeChat official account and type in the keyword Xi or game. It'll link you directly to the interactive game. Before I go, I would like to wish everyone a wonderful 2023. I hope the new year will bring you an abundance of happiness, success, and love without swearing involved, of course. Mm -hmm.